Before we go ahead and develop more functionality, we really need to consider the look and feel of our website. We have been doing something that looks uh, pretty minimalistic right now and so what we're going to do is rather than develop our own JavaScript and CSS custom for our website, we're going to use a front-end framework called Bootstrap and I, I want to be clear that there's nothing special about this. We could use some other front-end framework like Zurb Foundation or any of the many others that are, are available but I'm just sticking with Bootstrap because it um, it seems to be kind of the most popular framework and, and um, it's, it's got some interesting things to it. So uh, you'll definitely want to look through this website and figure out what you, you need to do to be able to get started using um, Bootstrap. But there are kind of two big things. There's the, the CSS that you need to do to mark up your website to, to do that and, and it's got some specific details and it goes over every element of, of your website and and what it can look like and and, and how it uh, looks and maybe even how it can be customized if, if you want. And then there are some built-in components that Bootstrap automatically gives for you. And you, you can see there's there's quite a, a, a list of what it can do for you and, and all the, the things that are uh, available more than just that from forms to drop down buttons to nav bars to to y you name it and that's just uh, basic CSS classes and so forth that that you set up but it can also be interactive so there are some JavaScript libraries that you can link to it to, to make things uh, animated or to make them more interactive and, and not just a, a, a static thing. So Bootstrap is, is a whole group of, of different um, elements that you can make your, your website look a, a specific way and, and set up to, to be a certain way. The uh, one thing that I, I want to, to point out is um, is this grid system here uh, because a lot of uh, frameworks have that and what uh, Bootstrap does and you, you can see right here is it breaks up the screen into 12 columns and you may think 12 columns I'm, I'm never gonna use 12 columns and maybe not uh, you you might but the the reason why 12 is used is because it's got a lot of nice factors in it. So you can break 12 into halves, into thirds, and into quarters. And you don't have to redefine it properly. So it just makes it real easy to use one system and make it the, the size that, that you want. And, and so that's why they use 12 columns. And so what you'll do is you'll say, I want this part of my website to be four of those 12 columns. So this would be uh, a third of, of the width. Or you could say that you want something to, to be a half of the width you, and you do this. And, and so there, there are ways for you to specify by fractions rather than a specific fixed number of pixels. And, and this is uh, very helpful for what's called re responsive development because if our user is on a tablet or on a phone they may reorient the, the page and we need to be able to relay it out or maybe they just resize the browser on screen and we need to be able to relay it out and so having fixed size pixels is is not going to allow our website to to be able to kind of be a one-size-fits-all for all devices and all media and so then we have to kind of sense what kind of system we're sending it to and send the right CSS so it looks good on that system and then you send them a different CSS that works on the other system that they're coming in from and that's not very good. If, if we can have a generic uh, way of saying we want this to be one half of the page and this to be the other half of the page or uh, this to be a third of the page uh, and the other two-thirds of the page or, or however you want to do it, it allows you to do that. At the same time, realizing that on some display sizes, 
you you can't have the same layout and so they they have this ability to say they have different types of grids from the extra small for for things that they would say are, are phones all the way up through the the large you know big desktops and and you can say well if we're displaying it on this size device we might split our page up in this way but if we're split displaying it on this other size device we we have more room and we have more flexibility and, and we do things now notice that it doesn't allow you to go above a, a width of 1170 pixels which which means that if, if someone has a really large device there's going to a, by by default there there's going to be some interesting um, sizing that goes on uh, with either um, white or or whatever your background color is sidebars or, or whatever so you uh, this is kind of the underlying mechanism that you use to, to lay things out. You should definitely go through this and, and get familiar with what things look like, you know, what the topography is, how, how you lay out tables or, or forms, how you utilize the, the different components that, that are available for you so you know how to do uh, a nav bar or to, to do breadcrumbs. You're able to do things like doing thumbnails and, and, and all the different things. Even if you don't know every little detail about how to do these things, you should know what all the, the different elements are that Bootstrap provides to you so you can say, oh, if I want my system to look like this, ah, Bootstrap has something for that. I am then going to look at this documentation. I need a progress bar. And then you start looking through it. It gives you some markup that you want to do with your, your web page so that you can make it look the, the way you want, uh, style it, color it the, the, the way you want, even have some animated uh, progress in, in there, and, and so on and so forth. So at the very least, you need to make sure that you understand what all the functionality is that's being provided to you from uh, Bootstrap, and whether those are the components or whether it is these JavaScript inter more interactive mechanisms through to the, the standard CSS that, that is uh, available to you. Um, you should spend some time familiarizing yourself with how Bootstrap is organized.